What is up gang? What is up squad? Welcome back to another video. It is your favorite commentator here, Demario, the chosen one. The chosen one is here. Y'all know what we doing today. We is back on thoughts and opinions. And we got night two of WrestleMania. That means you might get a good side of me, you know, cheering this shit on, or you might get a bad side of me saying, you know, I, I don't fuck with it. But before we get into it, I'm gonna have y'all hit that like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any videos. Running this shit up in 2023, you hear me? You hear me? Sorry. <clears throat> We just running this shit up in 2023. We gonna get this shit. I'm telling y'all, we gonna get this shit. And y'all is going on a ride with me. Hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. And let's get right into this video. So to kick off with WrestleMania night one, we got, I wrote this in my notes. We got Brock versus Omos. This match here, man, I, I didn't like it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't like this match. Um, but the crowd was into it, so it kind of made me a little into the match. I wouldn't say it was better than night one John Cena versus Austin Theory because at least that lit went a little long. This match, it just they did that thing again with Brock Lesnar. He, he hit just one F5, he just hit one F5, and that was it for Omos. And, that pissed me off because there's no I don't have nothing against Brock Lesnar. I have nothing against Brock Lesnar. It's just dude, why do they do that? Like, I think they did that. Um, didn't they do that against Braun Strowman when Brock Lesnar uh faced Braun Strowman? I don't know. It, it was something, but they keep on doing the thing where Brock Lesnar just hits one F5 and somebody's just done. I know the move hurts, but it don't hurt it don't hurt that much that you can't you can't kick out but for this this match right here i'm giving this match a five out of ten five out of ten it would have been a four or a three but the crowd was into this match and they made me into it so you know i had to be respectful don't mind my green screen pay attention to me we're gonna uh, leave that at a five out of ten and we're gonna move on to the next match all right the next match the six women tag match this match was disappointing. 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 What I mean when I sat there and I was angry, there was like freaking, there was kind of like a little botches in this match, if I'm being honest. I don't even know where to start. The match wasn't enjoyable. It was horrible. I'm a, my prediction was, my prediction was Ronda and Shayna was going to win. They won. So... I was right about that, but the thing about this match is, like, man, I think Liv Morgan did great. I, she was my favorite one um, out there tonight. Ronda used one move. <laughs> she used one, like, literally just one move. One, she just literally just used the arm bar, and I get, I think Shotzi, I think it was Shotzi that tapped. So disappointed. So disappointed. Um, This match, I rate this a 3 out of 10. 3 three can't go four or five or sit no mm -mm. this was the low point of the match wasn't enjoyable was enjoyable for, for me i'm pretty sure whoever is watching this right now is it probably agrees with me because this match was it wasn't it but on to the next match we got gunther sheamus and drew for the intercontinental championship now my prediction was wrong but like it was wrong at, in night one i was going for drew but this match was a solid brutal disgusting nasty mat Th this match was amazing this shit was awesome this shit was like bro i man i couldn't move from my seat I couldn't move from my seat because it was that goddamn good. And I honestly almost thought this match stole the night for me. Um, this match, this, this shit was phenomenal. I'm going to give this match a 10 out of 10. A fucking 10 out of 10. This match was solid. This was 
Oh my gosh, this shit was brutal. It, I was expecting it because it's Drew, Sheamus, and Gunther. These are the most hardcore wrestlers in fucking WWE history right now. These motherfuckers are hardcore, bro. They will go through anything. Blood. I saw like pretty much blood on everybody. Like it, 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 it was crazy. This match was brutal. This match is a 10 out of 10. On to the next one. We got Bianca versus Asuka. Raw Women's Championship. I ain't gonna lie. At first, I should have kept my, uh, I should have sticked with my gut for Bianca to win. But I was like, no, they're probably gonna take the title off of her. So I watched this match. I enjoyed it. This match was not boring. It was definitely better than the cis woman tag match. Bianca retains the title. She beats Asuka. This match right here is a, is an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten match. Solid match. Both women fought hard. Eight out of ten. On to the next one. Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon return. Here comes the money. You know, here comes the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He returned. But sadly, you know, honestly, I was like, I felt bad for him. Because I, I'm not going to lie. When I saw Shane, I was like, Shane. Shane. Oh, my gosh. It's Shane. He went in there trying to uh, go off the ropes. I don't know. He probably twisted his ankle. He did something. I felt bad for the man. I think that I think honestly, y'all, like, I think God is telling him to stay away from the ring. Just like he told Undertaker and Ric Flair to stay away from the ring. Just stay away from the ring, Shane. You're done. <laughs> like, that's it. But I hope you're okay. Um, it was cool to see Shane McMahon. Um, after that, Snoop Dogg got a few punches on your boy the Miz. Bop, bop. Yeah, you know, uh, two times, uh, he hit, he hit the slowest, slowest, um, people's elbow ever, but it was amazing, I'm not gonna lie, one, two, three, Snoop Dogg wins, and he holds his title up, that was pretty cool, shout out to Snoop Dogg, man, Snoop Doggy Dog, we gonna go on to the next one, we got Edge versus the Demon Finn Balor, Brood Edge, and fit all oh, when I mean their entrances was amazing. Their entrances was amazing. The match was amazing. I'll be honest with you. I was going for Edge, but every time I saw Finn Balor beat a demon, he in my perspective, I saw that he never lost. So when he lost this match, when when Edge um did the um did the thing um what they did um to Beth Phoenix and he hit the chair on Finn Balor and win. I was like, whoa, someone actually beat the demon Finn Balor. Entrance was great. I ain't gonna lie. I was hyped through this match because I ain't gonna lie. I did the entrance. You know, when he, when he crawling. I was doing the entrance. I ain't gonna lie to you. This match is going to be another banger. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This match was so good. Almost, almost stole the night for me. Honestly, you know what? I think it did steal the night for me. Now, actually, on to the next one. Roman Reigns. This is the main event. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rose for the undisputed Universal WWE Championship. Now, this match, I was scared. I thought my prediction was wrong. I thought my prediction was wrong. I thought Roman was going to lose. But you know what? Your boy is the one. Your boy is still the one. Still undefeated. Still WWE undisputed universal champion. It shocked me. Now, I know what y'all going to say. I know what y'all going to say. I know what y'all going to say in the comments. Y'all gonna be like, well, he won when people interfering again. Yes, he did win when people interfering again. But listen here, no one does it better than Roman. No one has the best, the best like body language than Roman. No one does it like Roman. This match is another 10 out of 10. This shit was really good. Really, really good. This match was a 10 out of 10. I was proud. I was like, yeah! 
<laughs> my prayers have been answered. But that's going to do it for here's reaction. That was my favorite match of the night. If you um, saw all the 10 out of 10s I gave, those were my favorite match of the night. But this match was my favorite. People might be disappointed by my uh, by my decision, but I, I, I like this match a lot. A lot. Shout out to Cody Rhodes. I thought Cody Rhodes was do going to do it. I ain't going to lie. I, I thought he was going to do it, but we the ones. WrestleMania acknowledge Roman Reigns. I'll see y'all later. Follow my socials. Links will be in the description. And peace.